Mom commits suicide. This two-year-old girl accidentally locked herself in the fridge. She was struggling for her life inside. The girl would have been suffocated if the fridge had been shaken and tipped over. The gas was left on next to the fridge. The tap in the sink had been left on and was overflowing with water. And there was a socket with an exposed wire right under the sink. New Delhi, India, 2014. A two-year-old child was locked in a home for 11 hours with the body of her mother who committed suicide. For 11 hours, she had almost a million brushes with death. The story was later turned into a film, so that all the details could be restored. Early in the morning, her mother's body lies in front of Pihu's face. Pihu is still unaware of the concept of death. Yesterday was Pihu's birthday. She wakes up in the morning, still slightly exhausted. She nudged her mother a few times and called out to her. Her mother did not respond. Maybe she's still awake, Piha thought. Since her mother wouldn't get up, she got out of bed and went to look for her father. But she couldn't get a response from him. He wasn't home. Pihu's house is divided into two floors. Even in New Delhi, India, a home like this would be the home of a wealthy family. His father's daily newspaper is delivered at the door. After Pihu picked up the newspaper, she was curious enough to tug on the door handle as well. But her height is limited, she really can't reach the doorknob. Just as Pihu was about to return upstairs, she heard the sound of water running in the kitchen. This was a height that Pihu had difficulty climbing. She found a small stool. Even with all her strength, she couldn't reach the tap. As she watched the water cascade, Pihu could do nothing. What's even more dangerous is that there is a socket under the tap with an exposed wire. If the water came out, the consequences would be unimaginable. Piha tried to wake up her sleeping mother. She brings the newspaper to her mother and asks her to read it to her. She also turned up the television in the hope of waking her mother. After all this, Pihu became anxious when her mother did not move. Pihu has no concept of life or death. But the scene before her caused her great anxiety. So she started to cry. The ringing of her mother's mobile phone attracted Pihu. The phone was a little high for her. Once again, she found a small stool. But by the time she got there, the phone had gone silent too. Pihu realized that the key to the problem was how to wake her mother up. She took off her trousers and asked her mother to help her put them on. But despite this, her mother was still lying there quietly. One plan didn't work and Pihu had another. So she washes her slippers with water and tries to cause havoc to attract attention. But the result was the same. Pihu was getting anxious. In a fit of rage, she pulled down her trousers and threw them at the iron on the table. With a violent shaking of her mother's body, the bottle of pills fell from her mother's hand. The sleeping pills are scattered all over the floor. Pihu could not understand the effect of the pills, but picked up a few of them and put them in the bottle. He hopes that when she wakes up, she will be able to boast about her intelligence and ability. At that moment his mother's mobile phone rang again. But even after all Pihu's efforts, the phone ended up accidentally slipping under the table. But luckily the phone was picked up. We were able to hear voices from outside the space other than Pihu's. The caller was a very vocal father. As soon as the call came through, the father was blaming his mother for last night. But he didn't know that his wife committed suicide by taking medicine this morning. He had left behind a poor child who was still oblivious to his surroundings. Before she died, the mother left her last words on the mirror. The last words are full of a woman's complaints about her husband. She also thought about taking Pihu with her to die. But after much hesitation, she decided to die alone. But to her dying day, she never imagined that her husband would not even look at her when he left this morning. She would never have realized how dangerous the daughter she had left behind was. Even if the couple were at odds. But a father's love for his child is unquestionable. In his haste to leave this morning, he had forgotten to unplug the iron. On the phone, he repeatedly told his wife to unplug it so that it doesn't cause a fire. All this time, the father hadn't noticed anything unusual. Pio still has many ways to wake his mother up. He puts on some beautiful makeup and gives her some cream. But the cream had a hidden agenda. In fact, her mother had been subjected to domestic violence for many years and applied the cream every time she had a bruise. Little Pihu learned to do this as she watched. As time passed by, Pihu suddenly sees the smoke from the iron and smells a bit of paste. She had just thrown her trousers at the iron. Now she stood watching curiously. Pihu instinctively threw the pants from the ironing board onto the ground. 
The burnt hole in her trousers foretells Piho's next danger. But she was not afraid and continued to circle around the iron. She even reached out and touched it. Pihu is hungry. In normal circumstances her mother would have brought her breakfast. But now she's on her own. The milk on the table is spilled all over the floor when she can't hold it. And the little pie left over from last night have fallen to the floor because of the Earth's gravity. No more milk if you spill it on the floor. But the pie can still be picked up and eaten. In order to heat the pie, Pihu learned how her mother used to heat the meal. First, she stuck the pie in the microwave and tried to heat it for an hour. Pihu doesn't have a clear idea of how long it takes. And what's worse is that she has no idea how a microwave works. At the moment, Pihu is only interested in the dancing pie in the microwave. Gradually, the pie turns into a smoldering black charcoal. Apparently, there is no way to eat this hot black charcoal. Heating the pie is not an option. The clever Pihu grilled the pie over the fire. To set the mood, she also turned on all four burners at the same time. But Pihu also realized that she wasn't doing it the same way as her mother. It looks like the pie-eating plan has been scrapped. Before the fire was turned off Pihu thought there was food in the fridge. Faced with this huge object in front of him, Pihu actually tried to get into it. The moment the fridge door closes, Pihu senses that something is wrong. The fridge started to shake under Pihu's impact. If the fridge had tipped forward the consequences would have been unthinkable. By now the house was in chaos. The gas that hadn't been turned off. Water about to overflow into the power supply. Suddenly the glass bottle on the fridge is shattered. Pihu finally struggles to get out of the fridge. But there was also broken glass scattered in front of her. Pihu made a jam bread despite these circumstances. Knowing that her mother hadn't eaten breakfast, Pihu brought the jam bread to her. But the result was predictable. Pihu plays with balloons in boredom, hitting his body on the table every now and then. The hot electric iron also swings along with it. At that moment the phone rings again. Pihu picks it out with a little stick and answers it. This time it's his father again. In the face of a child's mumbled words, the father on the other end of the line is a little confused. He guesses that his wife has not yet forgiven him for his rage and has chosen to ignore it. The father asks, have you unplugged the iron, the automatic shutoff function of the iron is not working. Even though there was no response from his wife, the father continued to talk to himself. He mentioned a wife's best friend. It turns out that the cause of the couple's quarrel. The mother thought the father was cheating on his best friend. Father on the plane ready to take off. After much prodding from the flight crew, the father had to turn off his mobile phone. During a two-hour journey, he was unable to communicate. However, for a mischievous child, there are still many, many mischiefs that can happen in two hours. After the father hung up the phone, Pihu first thinks of his toy phone and pulls it to his side. But as soon as he did, the iron, which was already hot, suddenly fell onto the table. In no time at all, the iron was surrounded by smoke rings. Thankfully, the heat from the iron caused a fuse to blow in the house. The power cut prevented the possibility of a fire from happening in the first place. Piha tried to get some air on the balcony, but accidentally dropped her rag doll outside. After trying to rescue the toy in every possible way, the doll fell downstairs. At this moment Pihu climbed the fence. In the nick of time, an auntie from the opposite floor called Pihu to go home to her mom. This saved her from a tragic accident. The phone rang for the fourth time when she got back to the house. This time it wasn't her father, but her mother's best friend. She was calling to explain her relationship with Pihu's father. But the mother was dead, and even the most obvious truths were now moot. The fuse had blown, affecting the neighbor's electricity supply, and they immediately called the property owner to repair it. Little did they know that a helpless girl was in need of adult care. And so the hours pass. Pihu passes the time with games. But there comes a time when he has to play enough. And the phone is on the verge of running out of battery. Bored, Pihu is thirsty. But the milk he had prepared earlier had been spilt. After a search, Pihu found a substitute. It's a chemical in a similar color and shape to milk. It's a big bucket of floor cleaner. Now the two-year-old girl has to choose to drink it all. Because she can't tell the difference between the cleaner and the milk. She pours the cleaner into her bottle. But then she accidentally spills it all over the floor. Pihu is a little disappointed to see the milk in her mouth floating away. But I was really relieved to be in front of the screen. Pihu heard a noise and went to the ground floor to find water on the floor tiles. 
The water had obviously come out from the tap that had been left on. The property owner came to check on the water leak, but after knocking on the door for a long time, no one answered the door, so they thought no one was home at all. Then the phone rang again, and it was the father who had gotten off the plane. He was relieved to learn that Pihu was okay, but Pihu said that her mother had been sleeping. The father's heart was in his throat. Despite the fact that the trip was for an important meeting, he bought a plane ticket and returned home as soon as possible. At the same time, his father asked his wife's best friend on another mobile phone to come to his home as soon as possible to find out what was going on. The phone that had been used to contact his daughter was now out of battery. This meant that the father was unable to capture what happened next. His daughter Pihu had lost her coordinates and disappeared into a world of danger. For the rest of the day Pihu continues to play on her own. She occasionally fiddles with the snacks at hand and mixes them with sleeping pills. Curious, she took one, then some more. Pihu slowly fell into a drowsy state. And the electrical system was restored thanks to the efficient maintenance of the property staff. This did not mean it was a good thing. For the iron, previously made safe by the power cut, had now become a potential liability. Late at night the fire brigade was alerted to a fire in a house. When firefighters arrived at the scene, the house was filled with smoke and a mess. As the door slams open, it's not the firefighters who are the first to rush in. It was the head of the family. The husband's words were full of anxiety and a desire to find his daughter and wife. His daughter Pihu is not found, but his wife is seen dead. And this began to bring the husband to the brink of collapse. He became frantic and twisted, calling out his daughter's name at the top of his lungs. Finally a clear father brought him back to life. Following the sound, it turns out that Pihu, the daughter, is at the bottom of the bed where his wife is lying. Pihu was unharmed. What is she doing? After hearing Pihu's reply, the father fell into a state of utter despair. <laughs> Oh! <laughs>